Mark Andre Tristegen has become the first goalkeeper in the history of La Liga who has kept a clean sheet in 10 of the first 12 games of the season. The German has risen from the ashes like a phoenix, and in today's video we are about to tell you the secrets of the Blaugrana goalkeeper. Subscribe for our Football Club project and let's get started! Yeah, you've heard that right. At the start of the campaign, Barcelona did not concede in 10 out of 12 matches. In fact, not very observant football fans might not have paid enough attention to this, given the Cotland's failures at the Champions League, as well as the recent defeat by Real Madrid in El Clasico. However, judging solely by La Liga, Barca's defensive results are quite impressive, with the lion's share of the credit should belong to Marc Andre Stegen. To be more exact, in 12 league fixtures, Barcelona conceded only four goals, and three of them in one clash against Real. As for other 11 rounds, Ter Stegen got the ball out of his own net only once until the duel versus Real Sociedad, in which the Catalans outclassed the opponent with a score of 4-1. Believe it or not, Barcelona's defense is by far the best in La Liga. The closest competitors in this regard, Real Betis and Villarreal, conceded twice as many. 8 goals each. Meanwhile, the biggest rivals Los Blancos conceded 10 times in the race for the title. Just for comparison, last year Ter Stegen had only 7 clean sheets in 35 La Liga appearances. Now he already has 10, with not even a third of his season passed yet. At the time of these videos release, Ter Stegen had made 25 saves. Moreover, not only does he help the team from time to time, he actually affects the final result. For instance, Take the 0-0 draw against Sevilla, where he made a key save after a killing moment from Ivan Rakitic. After such a shake-up, Barca scored three and eventually sealed the convincing victory. Needless to say, the German saves the day on a regular basis. What's more, Marc Andre does a great job not only at catching and reflecting the ball. This season, the accuracy of his long passes makes 62%, which is a very solid tally for a goalie. No need to talk about the accuracy of short passes, as here the figure is higher than 90%. The goalkeeper's ability to play the ball with his feet cannot be overestimated in modern football, especially for the methods Xavi tries to implement. By the way, in the La Liga match week 7 game against Mallorca, Ter Stegen reached the milestone of 500 minutes without conceding goals in the Spanish championship. It was his best run during his 8 year spell at Camp Nou. Ultimately, this trick extended to over 600 minutes. In order to set his personal best, Marc Andre had to work hard through many matches. Marc is in a stellar moment. Xavi praised his goalkeeper in a post match interview. Sure, Ter Stegen doesn't conquer these numbers alone, as he is inspired by the way Barca have begun to defend this season. The progress compared to the previous campaign is unbelievably impressive. At the same point of the 2021-22 campaign, Barca conceded 15 goals already. We have worked on our defense. We concentrate a lot to avoid counterattacks and play high up the pitch. We have improved defending set pieces and we play more in the opposition health and there is competition for places, which makes everyone more focused. Xavi explained Barca's performance upgrade at the beginning of September. Right after the aforementioned clash against Sevilla, Marc Andre praised Xavi in the highest tones for finding the team's new identity, which the goalkeeper believes has helped them improve in defense. He has a very clear idea and we haven't been doing it like that for years. He has recovered what we wanted. He is doing spectacularly. We fight for the teammate besides us and for the whole team. Ter Stegen noted the manager's fruitful work. Simplifying the idea of Barca's build-up from the goal, which suits Ter Stegen so well, here's how it looks like. Upon doing a goal kick, the 30-year-old German always has three options for a short pass and two options on the wings for a long one. When Blaugrana plays either Araujo or Kunde on the right wing of the defense, the build-up is formed with a right back, mixing these three options for short passes together with two center backs. The roles of options on the flanks, on the other hand, are carried by the left back and the right winger. As a result, we get some kind of hybrid formation, similar to what we saw in the match versus Sociedad. 
If there is a profile right back on the right flank of the defense, either Roberto or Bellerin, then in this case, the third option for short passes along with the two center backs is carried out by the defensive midfielder who drops deep. The full backs in turn move up front and give Ter Stegen enough space and opportunity to make a long pass. Firstly, the formation described above fits the goalkeeper's qualities perfectly well, and secondly, it allows the squad to effectively avoid the pressure, especially if the opponent's pressing is not arranged at the highest level. When the German was asked whether he was satisfied with his shape this season, he responded, On a personal and collective level, there are always things to improve. I am doing everything to get to 100%. Last summer was an extremely important factor in Ter Stegen's reset. To be more precise, the matter is that he finally received his first big vacation in three years. Mark andre was dropped from the Germany squad at the end of last season, so the man was able to have a proper rest and recovery. The player himself confirmed the matter after the recent showdown between England and Germany at Wembley. The summer was good for me. I could relax and be free. Above all, mentally. Sometimes you need to have some holidays and recharge the batteries. I've been able to start this season fit and in form, Ter Stegen explained. And don't forget the words of the legendary Sir Alex Ferguson. Attack wins you games. Defense wins you titles. That is why Marc Andre is the key and foundation in Barcelona's fight for a La Liga title. Basically, cups are won not by the team that score more points in face to face battles with competitors, but by those who are more consistent, able to score points in matches with mid table teams and underdogs. Seems like Barca have found out how to get the job done after all. Don't be fooled by their exit from the Champions League. Any team would have had chances not to exceed expectations in the group of death where both Bayern and Inter are present. In addition, the Catalans were unlucky with refereeing decisions that worsened the result of at least two games. Blagrana squad recently have the desire to battle for victory in the Spanish championship, especially if they can keep the same level of defense throughout the whole run. Well, Marc Andre, given his excellent form, will do his best to ensure things come out the way they want. Folks. Write in the comments below whether Barcelona can succeed at taking La Liga goal this season and how you can rate Ter Stegen's role in the current roster. We are already going to read your comments, so we are to say goodbye, but not for long. Take care and see you soon!